One person has died after a small plane crashed at Vancouver's Pearson Field. Investigators say the pilot was the only person on board at the time. Vancouver police will conduct a death investigation, but it'll be up to federal aviation officials to determine the cause of the crash. Fox News' Marilyn Deutsch reports from the scene. The crash happened at about 7.30 this morning. Vancouver Fire called to the scene after someone reported a fire on the runway. One person who was working in the area at the time told me he never heard a crash, had no idea anything had happened until he saw smoke billowing up over the airfield. Crews from Vancouver Fire put out the flames, but then discovered the dead pilot. A half hour later, this is all you saw. The burned out wreckage of a single engine Beechcraft B-35B near the end of the runway turned upside down. Investigators still have to verify the plane's registration number before we learn more about who owned this aircraft. The Clark County Medical Examiner will perform an autopsy to determine how the pilot died and their identity will be released pending notification of next of kin. We talked to a number of local pilots after the crash and while they didn't know the pilot involved, they were still upset. General aviation is a really small community and just seeing something like this happen and shakes up the whole community and really just a time for all the community to come together. Vancouver police cordoned off the area, securing the scene for the federal officials who will conduct their investigation. The Beechcraft V-35B is commonly called the Beechcraft Bonanza. More than 17,000 Bonanzas have been built since 1947. At one point, the plane gained the grim nickname of the Dr. Killer because aviation experts say doctors would buy them but have trouble flying them, in part because these planes have a V-shaped tail, which experts say can make them harder to control than, say, a Cessna. However, in recent years, pilots have gotten better training on these planes, and we're told their safety records have improved significantly. Aviation is really just really safe, actually. So when something like this happens, it's really surprising and shocking. Both the NTSB and the FAA will investigate. It takes them months, though, before they release their findings. In Vancouver, Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.